This is Vincent with The Best in Movie Show. I'm here with Heather Langenkamp. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks, Vincent. How was the uh, week treating you here at Spooky, the weekend? It's a fantastic weekend. This is maybe one of the most fun conventions in America these days, I think. Uh, we, it's a beautiful hotel. The weather's always nice, and um, the fans are extremely enthusiastic. I think the last time that you were here with everybody was when we did the Nightmare on Elm Street reunion. It was the last time this was here? I think so. I was uh, Robert England was here and Amanda Wiss. We were here together. And, John Sachs, right? And John Saxon. Yeah. Yeah. He was really nice to me because I've I've met everybody and I met you, but I've not met him and he was really cool. No, he's a true gentleman and uh, he's a, he's a father to me. I I learned so much from him working with him, but also getting to know him. He's a dear friend. Now that's the only movie you've worked on with him. But well, we did Nightmare One, Three, and Seven together, so I feel like I spent a good amount of time with him. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Home coming out, uh, and uh, my buddy told me it's going to be coming out on, in Walmart. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that. So this is a film made by uh, Frank Lynn, who's the director, and it was a really unique experience for me. I took the job, um, some nice, you know, the man came and said, you know, we have a part we'd really like you to play, and I said, great, and it was a pretty meaty role. I get to play uh, a woman who has a you know, a lesbian marriage. She's in a, you know, marriage, same-sex marriage. They have a young daughter who, uh, you know, they're just moving into a new house. So it's a, a scary kind of haunted house kind of story in the beginning, and then it it transforms to kind of a demon <laughs> movie at, at, at the end. And I I saw on your IMDb page that you did a movie called Intruders. Um, now. There is three intruders, and there was one that came. There was two that came out last year. One was a short with you, and one was another one. I saw the full version, and I thought you were in there, so I rewatched it, and it wasn't the same one. I think um, no, it's not the same movie. This uh, the intruders. That was a, a short film. It's only ten minutes long, and or maybe it's twenty minutes long. It was made by a young filmmaker who uh, it wants to make you know uh, a bunch of shorter films, and so mine focused on a daughter who comes home in the middle of the night and obviously her family has rejected her. She was a drug addict and a kind of tough love situation. But the parents let her back in for one night and then it's what happens. Where can we see that at? I don't know. I have no idea. So anybody out there can tell me, <laughs> let me know, bestdaymovieshow.com. Uh, okay, and then uh, Charlie Sheen, this was kind of interesting. He was in your wedding. So my uh, my husband and Charlie grew up together. They uh, they they went to school together in Malibu. They've been buddies since they were like eight or nine years old. They were on Little League together. They we know the Sheens really really well, and uh, they've always been kind of part of our lives in California. So it was a natural person to ask to be in our wedding. So it's not usual for him to come over the house every once in a while. Unfortunately, Charlie lives a life that. Um, yeah, he's super busy. He's, you know, as you know, he's always had a TV series for the last 10 years or so, and and uh, he has a family. He has five kids. You know, he's he's a busy guy. So we see him from time to time, and uh, you know, we love him like a brother. He's a really important part of our family. Okay, so I have a couple Nightmare on Elm Street trivia questions, and um, you're good at trivia, right? I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, I feel good. I can do it. All right. So the film was based on a report in 1981 in the New York Times. In which Southeast Asian country did this occur? It's I want to say Thailand, but it might have been Malaysia. No, am I wrong? It's hard. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. It's in the it's in the green. I, I thought it was I thought it was Cambodia. I really did. So did I. So did I. Yeah. Who was Wes Craven's first choice to play Killer Freddy Krueger? Well, I, I, I really don't think this is true. But okay, go ahead. Yeah, you got you got Johnny Depp. You got Charlie Sheen, Jackie Early her, uh, Haley, and then you got David Warren. David Warren. I know that's not true all of those well they said david warren so if you're saying it's not true i'm david warren me neither i don't even know who he is i don't know i call that junk trivia 
Yeah. Because I know that um, I don't think Wes Craven had his mind set on any Freddy until when he met Robert. Yeah. All right, here, here's one I thought was interesting, and I didn't even know about this. Why did Wes Craven decide on a red and green jumper for Kruger? I know it has to do with our visual uh, perception in that, that the eye cannot process red and green together or something like that. It has something to do with how our rods and cones process red and green color. Now, do you know how the script came about? I mean, besides the... Like Wes, Wes Craven, he actually he saw this report in the newspaper and he wrote it. Uh, how did you get approached by this? Did you? Uh, did you? Uh, yeah, I auditioned for this part like I auditioned for um, every you know every part in my career. You get a call from your agent and they're like, "Oh, there's an appointment for you at 2 p.m. tomorrow. It's for a movie. It's called Nightmare on Elm Street." And then you just appear at the building where they tell you to go. They usually give you material to read. And um, I read the material. Uh, maybe a week later, 10 days later, I got a call back. And Wes Craven was there, and I got the part. One more, and I think you're going to get this one, because this is a really easy one. Who rapped the song, There's a Nightmare on My Street? Oh, yeah. Um, Will Smith. Oh, there we go. Because you had LL Cool J, you had Tupac, and you had Notorious B.I.G., which none of those guys could do what Will Smith did. Right. No, I, I'm a big fan of that song. I love that song. Well, I want to thank you for your time for coming on. Thank you. And it's always been a pleasure.